Radio SVH ir tur, kur cilvēki priecājas. Radio SVH visu laiku. So, attention, attention, please. Right, sorry. Um, so, what was the atmosphere? How do you feel? Very good. Great. 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 The show was great. awesome. Man, we had a great, great time. We had a, we had a very, very good show. Oh, it's okay. It was, yeah, it was really great. Enjoyed. I think, um, you all, I think after any gig, you're always trying to work out what you did wrong because it's, you, know, you want to improve, right? So there were lots of, there were a few technical issues, but the, sh the reaction from the crowd was fucking brilliant. Yeah, really, 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 really good. Yeah, great. Did you enjoy the audience? Yeah, yeah. 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 Best I think best was me ever. I think for sure. Yeah, we got one of them. That's first. We don't normally get bras. That was. Uh, it's quite yeah. exciting. So that, pro that probably shows you how good the show was, I think. Yeah. And somebody threw a bra. He wore it around his neck. Yeah, see, I could die a happy man now that someone has actually thrown a bra on stage. I think that's, 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 that's a milestone has been reached. You've got, you got to reset there, your, with, your uh, ambitions. With, with a bra. Have you got your... Uh... You get better goals, man. I've gone around, I've traveled around the world. Uh, for three years, and then that was it. The brow on stage. <laughs> that was, yeah. that was it. Now we can retire. Now I can it's retire, so happy man. Yeah. So guys, but this is your first time in Positives Festival, is it? Absolutely. And in Latvia? Yeah. That, yeah. First time as well. Yeah. So well. Nice, welcome, welcome. How did you, you decide to come to Latvia? And uh, well, what was the reason when you accepted the concert? Because, well, we were offered the concert a couple of months ago, and we looked up, you know, did our research, and it looked like a really good, you know, popular And it's, be it's beautiful. And the, I, set, yeah, the setting was one of the reasons, I think. Yeah. The fact that it's on, it's on a beach, and you have the trees and the forest around, it's actually a really positive festival and uh, you get the very positive uh, reflection from, uh, from the audience. Like, uh, oh, very, very, awesome. very, very well. Can you remind us again the, the name of your band and how come it's called? Like okay, this? so we're called the Gin Riots and it's named after a riot that happened in England and London in the 18th century. And the background to it, it's a, it's a very long story. I'll give you a short one. Sure. Sure. Right. So, so basically, at that point in, in time in England, everybody drank gin, brewed their own gin, kind of uh, did it for free, and then the government decided to put a tax on gin. All the gin addicts, all the prostitutes and the reprobates and vagrants, homeless people, decided to riot against the government. So that's why we so they, this... they broke into the biggest gin factory in London and, drank it and they drank it dry. So you're pretty tire. rebellious guys, aren't you? Well, I, I just like the thought of someone breaking into a gin factory and drinking it dry. That kind of, that kind of <laughs> the most rebellious thing we've done is return library books late. I mean, that's yeah. <laughs> I, well, <I'm, laughs> as rebellious as I Two days late. And they were not happy. How much did you have to pay? Did you pay the fine? I paid a 50p fine. Man. So one ingredient of your concert is gin, isn't it? Uh, kind of. Yeah. I don't yeah. like gin. Before, before the concert is gin. Yeah. And after? Uh, uh, maybe, maybe the stomach. Uh, it's it's, 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 it's good. good. Yeah, it's so like lucky and drinks. Fizz. <laughs> just yeah, coming your uh, body again and not just uh, following the audience and the whole like... Uh, Come on, the, na the name star, why it is that? It's because the stars, they are shining and uh, yeah. there's something magical happening when you are on the stage. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And then, thank you. That, uh, like, the little miracle happens wow. and you don't know where you are, what are you doing, but you just feel fine. <laughs> we, like, we like to play music that... Uh, it's kind of unpretentious, we're not trying to be poet laureates, well he is a little bit, but... Uh, I'm gonna be the poet laureate. You're gonna be a yeah. poet laureate. We just wanna make music that makes people feel good, and <laughs> that makes people dance, and that's kind of what we try and do, I guess. So what are your summer plans? Do you plan to perform in UK? Um, we play a couple, a couple of, well, a, a festival we come back to London. Sunday. On Sunday, so we have to yeah. slide back. And then after that, we've got various gigs around London. No more festivals. We're going to write. Basically. We got Hamburg. Yeah. Potentially, yeah. potentially yeah. Germany. Maybe yeah. you know, in uh, I think October. Oh well, yeah, about yeah, I don't know. We're doing like a little uh, tour of Italy as well. Yeah, Italy, uh, Italy, yeah. Italy, yeah. Where do you prefer to perform? Latvia. 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 Latvia.
we didn't actually, we actually talk about moving here, I think. We actually, like, relocating to that bit as well. We're having new beds. We're living, we're living with, like, four of those uh, red bikini-clad women. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to move in with them. Yeah, we've, re we've rented a house with them. Yeah, they're, they're, they're our flatmates. That was I decided about ten minutes ago, so this is fresh. Should I just say that that is not true, so, <laughs> and that that is not true? No, not married. He's totally he's totally he's totally married. He's just, he's 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 I got married he's last week. He's gonna be in big so, trouble uh, when he gets married. Yeah. But when that picture gets on Facebook. You feel like new in the that line, like fresh one in the marriage, or not? Well, I just got married last, literally last week. Yeah. So, uh, and yeah. It, basically, it's something. He has a wife in every European country. Oh, so he has one wife. Him. He loves his wife. Uh, I was uh, uh, so much wondering trouble, you know, how many people in Latvia <laughs> you have really met, like uh, talking and. Uh, well, we met, uh, we met a really good guy who uh, who kind of like met us at the airport. Jorges, been guiding us. Jorges. For you, man. Uh, <laughs> That's I think so he's, been very, he's been very cool. He's, he's, he's been explaining out. a lot to us about I guess, Latvian yeah. culture and stuff. And we talk, yeah, we've talked to a lot of Latvians, yeah. and you, you guys seem to have a good sense of humour. It's a good life. Oh, very, it's very chilled humor. out. Very chilled out. I'm Irish. I appreciate yeah. chilled outness, man. You mentioned it to We live in right. London, and it's very yeah. rat race, yeah. rat race. Exactly. And uh, I appreciate being somewhere that's kind of chilled out again. And Latvia seems like that. I just. Uh, like wish you have a really nice time and talk to more lesbians because they are quite <laughs> funny. <laughs> they are quite funny. Yeah. And, uh, Dry, thank you guys for coming, for performing, and hope oh. to see you again in Latvia. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're gonna go, Team Riot. Let's have a group hug. Yay! 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 Oh my God.